Welcome to another Station Tech video. I think this is episode 9. Uh, I'm going to be building a door powered minecart dispenser. Uh, similar to the one that uh, Minecraft Attic, uh, he, he made one. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not working exactly the same, but whatever. Uh, it still uses the same principle. Uh, the door holds them up, and uh, there's this the pulse here, uh, which just sends a small thing and it will just do one cart at a time and yeah I'm not sure why his uh, all the his cart sat on top of the door and maybe it's just the orientation mine hover uh, halfway through the door but it still works the same way as it does uh, and it works in multiplayer too so uh, I like the fact that the, the booster is attached so you don't have to put an extra booster on there so what we're going to do is uh, edit the existing one that we have all the way over here uh, and yeah we're just going to change the technology we'll upgrade it uh, from this dispenser with the half block uh, and we'll just rip all this out and um, yeah we'll, we'll put the new one in there and see how it goes of course it's getting night time because I just started a video and you know that's what it likes to do so uh, I guess we'll start this in the morning. Okay, the first thing we've got to do is uh, tear down all of this. So I'm I'm gonna run this in fast forward, and yeah, that'll be kind of pointless for you to watch the whole thing. So, so yeah, I'll fast forward this bit. Okay, now that that's all destroyed, uh, I did move this over just a little bit, just so I have a little more room. Uh, what I'm going to do is set up the door right here, so it's going to run the cart up there, kind of like that, I guess. Sure, that'll work. Uh, actually, maybe I have to run it down one more block. One more. Like that, and we are going to use a, a booster here. Mm. Yeah, that'll that'll work. It's just going to be one of these little self-resetting boosters. Uh, don't need any loop back or anything like that. Uh, this this should be enough. So we've got all this room here to work with, and I'm probably not going to need like hardly any of it. I'm going to put the door here. Let's see if I can do this the right way. Oh, are you kidding? I had it right the first time. That'd be right. One day I will learn to put the doors on correctly. One day. Excellent. Uh, and now we have to run the carts up there. Oop, just a bit of leftover. Okay. Now, the way he had it, uh, the carts landing in here, I'm, I'm not sure. He used some kind of black magic. Um, but what I will be doing is just doing the standard loading because, <coughs> yeah, I don't know how <laughs> he managed to get that to work. And we're just going to use the same method as before. The ladders prevent them just from falling down that block and they push it back just enough so that they can land on the door. And over here, now we have to run this all the way up. Might have to put a little booster here too if we want to make the carts go all the way. Uh, 
One good thing about this is that it is a lot uh, less takes up a lot less room. And of course, the night she comes. I'm going to quickly lay this down. Just before you can't see anymore. Excellent. And now I have to wait for day. Be right back. Okay, so it looks like we're nearly ready. Just run some railing up here. Now this is quite a long distance, and the original booster absolutely would not make it up here. So I'm am gonna just put another another diagonal one here just to help out a bit. That should be enough. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Maybe I should check this just to make sure. Yep, doesn't get in the way. Awesome. thinking we have enough momentum. Well, obviously that boost is not going to work since it's sitting there. That's okay. I'll just push it down. Now does it doesn't make it. Excellent. Look at that. Perfect fit. Now we just have to run this to that door. Uh, running just a little bit of a pulse. I guess they have a technical name, uh, a, some sort of a RS nor something or other switch. I'll stick with calling it a pulse just because that's what I know. Getting on this button should and that means when I get off the button it's going to reload which is exactly what we want. Okay before I load it up uh, I just want to quickly talk about this this uh, RS NOR switch I think it's called I don't know I call it a pulse circuit because it simply sends out a small pulse uh, for this to work, you need the door to open and close in just one uh, redstone tick. So right now it's on like four. Uh, that's not good. So we need to reduce it all the way down. So to the, the shortest possible. And it looks like that's about as quick as I'm going to get. Because if I didn't have that delayer in here, uh, this would go at the same time and now it's just one tick so it's it's one if you have a look at the other one it's uh it's actually 3 but that's just to make up for that redstone there the torch there so whichever way you have it as long as the door is open for one redstone tick uh you won't have uh multiple carts coming down at the same time so now that we have it all set up, uh, I guess I've got to load it. 
Now, there's much more elegant ways of doing this. Uh, I'll just use what I've got. See, whatever works. Now that should be stocked. Nice, fully stocked. And when I step on this, it should no do nothing because I only want it to send an empty cart when I've left the station. Okay, and now I've left the station. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's only going to go halfway through. This time for sure. When I step off this button, that ha one that's halfway down is going to go here. And one, another one's going to go halfway down again. Just like that. It's going to send me away. All the way to arrivals. Now let's watch it. It's going to go up there. It's going around the bend and down and stack up. And look, there's one at departures gates already. So it looks like it works fine in single player. Uh, let's try it out in multiplayer and see if we get the same result. This is in multiplayer, obviously. I have uh, another person logged on and they can see my every move. Unless I like just, you know, hide over here. But anyway. So I'm going to get onto the arrivals and you'll be able to see everything in action. Uh, departures, I mean gonna send me away, it's gonna send me back. I'm gonna be at the arrivals. I get out and it's gonna restock the Pez. Oh that's beautiful. Isn't it nice when everything just works? Excellent. So that's the uh that's that door powered Pez dispenser. Well, there we go. <laughs> so that's the door powered Pez dispenser, uh, as made by Minecraft Addict. I obviously have a few changes on there, uh, just to make it work for my needs. Uh, I don't know how we did that crazy stuff uh, with with the uh, the minecarts, but we got something similar working, and it works very well. Uh, and it's a a worthy upgrade to any train station. I mean. We saved a lot of space here, so uh, like, subscribe, all of those things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you stick around for some more when I make them. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm going to be putting this door-powered minecart dispenser uh, in the place of a... <laughs> wow, and it, it, they just broke it because there's, there's monsters all over it. Uh, we'll see if it works anyway. No, of course not.